Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Libra, this is your weekly July 12th through July 18th tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. This first spread is about your work, your business or your finances. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, Death, Temperance and the Six of Cups. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. So I think the Eight of Pentacles together with the uh, Death card are talking about your employment that ended at some point in the past. It could have been a business adventure as well a business partner that you were no longer associated with but here they come <laughs> they're coming back around uh, that's what the uh, six of cups and temperance suggest they want to heal the situation perhaps they want you back um, or they want to pay you some money like a severance package or some kind of a settlement or perhaps you still have some money left there or like I said they just want you back they want uh, perhaps their situ their financial situation changed then they're hiring people back and the six of cups is actually the outcome I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and the six of cups came out but uh, I could already see that uh, this is somebody coming back from the past right the six of cups is all about uh, trying to reconcile or trying to reestablish some sort of a connection or somebody is just simply coming back from the past so expect to hear back from someone you were associated with or a company that you used to work for and most likely they'll be offering you a position again. Libra, if you are on the quest for new love, this spread is for you. We've got the Eight of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. That's an interesting spread for new love. I think I'm connecting with um, those Libras who are not really looking for new love. Instead, they're still concentrating on someone from the past, someone they had a fallout with or somebody uh, they broke up with. That's what the uh, Five of Swords here represents. This is uh, a card of a fight or a card of uh, somebody just walking away and not having it anymore. Uh, we also have the Eight of Swords with the Five of Cups. This is someone who is still stuck in the past, thinking about the past, regretting the past, thinking about their love interest. And uh, we have this Queen of Cups right here. This is uh, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Or this person is just uh, very emotional. Or it could be an indicator of your love interest. Obviously, somebody you were associated with in the past. So, um... Libra, yeah, I see you are still uh, regretting. You still have this person um, on your mind heavily, but you know, if this is something that cannot be resurrected, then I always say that we need to move forward. There's got to be at least one person out there um, who is right for you. But um, I'll be doing more spreads. Perhaps we'll see um, if there is somebody else coming towards you. Libra, if you are already in a relationship or if you're married, the spread is for you. We've got the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, uh, the Six of Swords and the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Um, so the King of Wands could either be you, could be you could be assuming the energy of this King of Wands or it could be your significant other, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. What I do see here is will apply to all situations. I think either you or your significant other is leaving on a business trip this week or going somewhere because they have to go. Most likely it's uh, business or work related. Uh, the Three of Pentacles, uh, it's probably about uh, finances and the Six of Swords is them or you leaving, going on a trip and uh, the Four of Swords is the person who stays behind at home and there will be a kind of missing the other person 
you know, there'd be they'll be a little bit sad about <laughs> you or the other person leaving. So I don't see anything critical. I don't see anything bad here. Is that it's just that one of you is uh, leaving, hopefully for a short period of time, and the other one will be kind of sad about that. Well, you know, people do come back, and uh, we all do need some alone time. So use it at your advantage. Take care of what you need to take care of while you're by yourself. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this week. We've got the Seven of Cups, Judgment, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Air Sign, Gemini, another Libra, or Aquarius. Well, I think the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck is you. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And I really do not like this spread, Libra. Uh, we've got the Seven of Swords here with the Seven of Cups. So it's two sevens, but I think this person, whoever it is, um, they've either had multiple options in the past or they have multiple options now and they're just checking in with all those options and you are one of the options. You're one of the people you're, they're checking in with to see if you would be able, open to uh, you know get back together or to just have a good time or to have a good time one last time but this person definitely does have multiple options that's what the seven of cups here suggests the judgment in the middle is uh, somebody coming back from the past so this is the X uh, keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago a year ago maybe five years ago but I have a feeling this is someone who is uh, not from such a distant past so the Seven of Swords is a card of a deception, a card of a cheater, a card of a liar, or a card of somebody who is up to no good. So that's why I uh, suspected that this person is just, you know, fishing around, looking for an easy uh, weekend or an easy date that could lead to you all know what, right? So, um, if this person screwed you over in the past, chances are they'll screw you over again. Or if somebody comes back around this week, but uh, they're a bit distant, or they uh, start communicating with you, but then they disappear, then they start communicating with you again. What they're doing is they're spending time with other people, or they're concentrating on other people, or they concentrate on multiple people. So, stay away from this person. Um, this person is up to no good Libra. Let's talk about what you're not expecting Libra this week. We've got the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So we did see this Queen of uh, Cups in the uh, New Love spread. So it could be that same person but it could be somebody else. It could be a different situation. So the Queen of Cups is either a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or this is your love interest, uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, or this person is very emotional, very loving, and uh, often wears their heart in their sleeve. And there will be some kind of a breakthrough in regards to that person. There will be some kind of a conversation or truth may come out. Um, this could lead to a brand new start between you and this person. The Ace of Swords basically clears everything that happened in the past, uh, cuts it out, and uh, brings in a brand new beginning. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, this card usually represents marriage, or it represents a committed relationship, or just a, the type of a relationship with a great potential. So the unexpected of the week is that there will be some kind of a breakthrough. Uh, Somebody is going to speak their truth and uh, most likely there will be a new beginning between you and this uh, Queen of Cups. Uh, keep in mind, uh, Libra, you could be assuming the energy of the Queen of Cups, so then somebody is going to be uh, approaching you. Somebody is going to be very straightforward with you, but uh, the outcome is still the same. The Ten of Pentacles is uh, a very solid and a very abundant relationship so uh, the potential is great is great here so if this is somebody you already know coming back from the past um, 
the cards are saying that um, you can give them another shot and see where that takes you. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.